Hello, uh, we're just going to get off the stump grinding project for a little while. I've got a little uh, gunsmithing project I'd like to take on. It's a Savage Model 25. Can't hardly see it there. <clears throat> Over and under. Uh, the guy kind of liked the gun, just wanted to keep it. But uh, it's 410 on the bottom, 22 long rifle on top. Barrel's pretty good shape. The bluing and the finish, the stock and everything's fine, but what had failed is the selection little button here from the 22 to the to the 410 had actually broke. This little piece here inside of it mounts to the back side of this button here. And that determines what <clears throat> uh, chamber to fire in it. So uh what I'm going to do is attempt to machine one or TIG weld, Heliarch, TIG weld, whatever you want to refer to it as, a tab back on the end of this. It just goes in front of the firing pin and takes up the void in it where the hammer can select upper barrel or lower barrel. And uh, to do that, the trigger guard had the factory bolt here. This one had been rather wallered out and somebody had replaced it with just a regular bolt so probably what I'm going to do is TIG weld the hoe up and just re-machine the, the surface of it and re-drill and tap and put a regular screw back in it the regular gun bolt it's hot blued it had a fairly finish good finish on it but you know it was a usable rifle so it being carried you got a little brown patina there or rust as we call it here in the south but uh, I started removing it by buffing it, and I'm going to try hot bluing it to get that back to that hot blue look that my, I just I just love it the way it looks. But uh, what I was going to do is show some of the processes of TIG welding, welding that up, uh, the machining part, and I'm going to glass bead it in the glass bead cabinet right before we try to hot blue it. <clears throat> I'll show a little videos of that and probably some on how to uh, remachine this little part here. Uh, the factory can't find parts for it. Uh, and the newer model, which was changed from this design, I wonder why. But it's probably due to the hardening process they put it through, made it brittle, just snapped it off. What I'd have to do is keep it annealed state. It'll be soft. Now, yet yeah, it may flatten that piece out after, you know, 500 to 1,000 shots, which is a gun I'll never see. So I'm not really worried about extreme longevity 150 years from now. I just don't want it to fail again like that. <clears throat> so it's going to attempt to do that. Uh, here's all the small parts that come out of it. And uh, the firing pins and stuff with the little spring, this one's got a spring under it. Ah, just put a piece of tape around them, keep them from rolling around. But everything else looks in, in in real fine shape. The bluing on the barrel is just a a real dark blue. Uh, heat bluing, hot bluing they call it. But uh, I might take this piece here and trying to duplicate the dark color in it, or I might just leave it with that gold tint. But I was just going to do a quick video of a salvage model twenty five repair and refinish and uh, we'll see how that turns out but i should show some videos of glass beating tig welding and a little bit of machining